Hello, my name is Wayne Losey. I'm the Ward 1 City Councilor, a position I've proudly served in since 2004. I am seeking re-election this November 7th. I'm a lifelong Lynn resident. I've attended Lynn Public Schools, graduated from Lynn English High School, North Shore Community College, attended Bentley College and graduated with a degree in environmental studies. I've worked for the Massachusetts Department of Environmental Protection for almost the last 30 years. This city is not only where I was born, raised and educated, it's also where I chose to raise my family. My wife Kathy and I live on Den Quarry Road with our two youngest children. As I reflect on my time on the City Council, I'm reminded that public service is an honor and a privilege made possible for me by the support of hardworking people in this city who help make Ward 1 a great place to live. As counselor, my goal is to ensure Ward 1 residents have a strong voice in city issues and passion-driven leadership that delivers results aimed at improving life within Ward 1 and citywide. Working with residents, listening to their concerns, understanding issues that are important to them has provided me with the tools to be an effective counselor. I am proud of the results I have delivered within Ward 1 and hope that, jo that the job I am doing representing res residents is worthy of a re-election. Some of my accomplishments that have made Ward 1 an even better place to live include strong constituent services responding to calls, complaints, and concerns with action plans and results, securing public funding and leveraging private funds for major improvements to the ward's parks and playgrounds, and significant infrastructure improvements to Wyoming Square, Linfield Street, and Broadway. Working with local groups, such as the Lynn Water and Sewer Commission, on managing the Canada Goose population at Ponds, Parks, Gannon Golf Course, and the Reservoir. Helping to bring state and federal funds into the City of Lynn to move the high tension wires along our waterfront that allows development like the $80 million beacon site on the Linway. Always voting for the minimum residential tax rate as a councilor. Supporting a trash ordinance with a home rule petition that permits the city of Lynn to increase the statutory fine from $300 to $5,000, working with private utilities and developers to make sure infrastructure and roadways in Ward 1 are restored as good or better than before. But I recognize there is a lot more to serving in an elected office than just ensuring that streets are plowed, trees are pruned, and roadways are, are fixed and trash is picked up in a timely manner. Constituent services also include being a strong voice and a leader on the council for Ward 1 taxpayers. There are tough decisions that must be made and that impact residents financially and their overall quality of life. There are several issues currently faced Lynn, facing Lynn residents and Ward 1 in particular. These must be addressed. Lynn faces a difficult fiscal situation. Frankly, it's a fiscal crisis. We need to tighten purse strings where possible and work together to create a long-term economic development plan and vision for the city to work and bring in new revenues beyond taxes. We are a cash-starved city, which makes it challenging to provide essential services to residents, let alone additional services which taxpayers should expect, such as adequate public safety staffing citywide, improved and new schools to ensure quality education to our children and future generations. While there may be discord about how many schools, funding me mechanisms, and locations, there is no disputing a new pickering is needed. There, there isn't a solution that will ever please everyone, 
There are also not many viable locations in our densely populated city to construct a new facility, but I will continue to work with residents on advocating for a new Pickering and how to best proceed with getting it built. Union Hospital, while it appears to be a done deal, I will advocate for the best possible solution to provide medical services to our residents and access to world-class health care. I will ensure that federal and state grants are applied for and delivered for our parks, roadways, and infrastructure, both in Ward 1 and citywide. I have diligently worked to achieve much on behalf of residents of Ward 1, and we must not lose momentum in advocating for more in Ward 1. Residents can count on my continued leadership, commitment, and experience to work on their behalf in creating opportunities and delivering results that make real differences in building a stronger, more prosperous community that now and for future generations to enjoy. I respectfully ask for the voters of Ward 1 their support on Tuesday, November 7th, so I can continue serving as their voice and working for them. Thank you.